Thank you. And thank you, Dr. Barker, for that kind introduction. Greetings to all of you, and a special welcome to the class of 2013, Red Devils. I'm absolutely thrilled to have won the Catherine Amelia Brown Excellence in Teaching Award. I've wanted to win this award ever since coming to Converse in 1991, <laughs> which, by the way, is the year many of you new students were born. And doesn't that give me pause? <laughs> Little did I know that it would take me 17 years to do it. Even though I won this award, let me assure you that I'm a work in progress, and there are many who continue to help me along the way become a better instructor in some form or fashion. My departmental colleagues, my arts and sciences and music school colleagues, the library staff, my dean and president have all assisted me along the way. Thank you. And a big thank you to all of my students in all of my courses. You are the ones who've really kept me on my toes, both in and out of the classroom. My comments are directed primarily at the incoming class of 2013. Here is a brief profile of them. According to the Benoit Mindset published by Benoit College, this class has grown up in a world where GPS has always been available, Gas stations have never fixed flats, but most serve cappuccino. WWW has never stood for worldwide wrestling. IBM has never made typewriters. Caller ID has always been available. The Green Giant has always been Shrek, not the big guy picking vegetables. Salsa has always outsold ketchup. Tattoos have always been chic and very visible. Rap music has always been mainstream. Text has always been hyper. And there has always been blue jello. <laughs> My point? Everything changes. Indeed, change is the only constant. And the world you may think is concrete and easily grasped is not. The reality you accept at this moment will rapidly change and force you to rethink your views on nearly everything and that the person you are at this moment may not be the person that you are in six months, let alone in May of 2013. In the words of Heraclitus, you don't step in the same river twice. The world is fast and furious, relentless and hard, and cruel and complicated. And often enough, it doesn't give a flip about you. But this doesn't mean that you should stop giving a flip about the world. On a more practical note, I'm going to briefly talk about what a Converse education can do for you, what you can do for Converse, what you can do for each other, and, most importantly, what you can do for yourself. A Converse education will do nothing less than prepare you for the rest of your life. Your academic courses and co-curricular experiences will help cultivate and sharpen your critical thinking, reasoning, communication, and problem-solving skills, more fully preparing you for an economically fluid world, one where you have the ability to adapt to the requirements of the many types of jobs you will do over the course of your lifetime, jobs that have yet to be created. Converse's liberal arts education program will strengthen your basic knowledge and cultural liter literacy of all aspects of the world. This wide variety of core courses coupled with your chosen major or majors and minor or minors will ensure you graduate a well-educated woman. What you can do for Converse. Be a good steward of the Converse name. Converse College has been in existence since 1889 and has survived depression, recession, fire, storm, and war. Not to mention the antics of Pink Panthers and Red Devils. <laughs> Maybe somebody else. <laughs> there is a remarkable resiliency here, coupled with the capacity to change and adapt. So, respect the so represent the college well and help Converse grow and prosper in the 21st century in whatever ways make sense to you. What you can do for each other. Respect each other. Treating each other with civility helps smooth over the bumps of day-to-day day -day life in relatively close quarters and works to minimize the drama. Leave the drama for the stage. In addition, encourage and support your fellow students in all that they do, which is plenty. Attend Valkyrie sporting events, go to plays, art shows, poetry readings, public lectures, and class presentations. Show your appreciations for the talents that abound in your colleagues. 
what you can do for yourself. Be a critical thinker. Require sound reasons before believing something. Find the facts out for yourself, especially with respect to your academic requirements, life on campus, and where you can park. Do not let anyone convince you that even though you may be able to outrun campus safety's golf carts, you won't be able to outrun their radios. <laughs> Keep in mind that incentives matter. Everyone responds to incentives. They're what drives human behavior. In order to better understand yourself, your fellow Connies, your professors, in short, everyone, ask yourself why five times. Keep working backwards to get to the fundamental reasons and motives behind yours or someone else's actions. Life is about choices, so make good ones. Do whatever it is you're going to do as long as the benefits outweigh the cost by 51%. <laughs> Seems simple enough, right? You know how much money it costs to go out in the evening. Figuring out those costs are easy. But you also need to think about the hidden cost, the cost of what you would have been doing instead of going out. That's the difficult part. When you use your time, effort, and money in one way, it costs you the opportunity to use them in another. So think about the opportunity cost of going out to play trivia games in local establishments on school nights instead of prepping for tomorrow's classes. <laughs> also keep in mind that the 51-49% rule does not change the fact that you have to accept the 49% in costs. And speaking of costs, make your decisions based on present costs, not past ones. So what if you spent the last three years working towards an economics degree only to discover what you want to be as a microbiologist and not a microeconomist? Change your major and pursue your goal. Sunk costs are sunk. Be smart about your money. You may have student loans, but avoid the, oh, I'm in debt anyway, so I guess I'll just charge these ridiculously expensive jeans trap. It's okay to owe money for your education. That's an investment in your future but not for your blue jeans and dinner with your buddies. Majoring in a professor is not cool. Even if that professor is the latest campus hottie, nor, <laughs> nor is making someone else your career. Never expect anyone else to support you economically. I want to tell you to do what you love, the money will follow. Unfortunately, that doesn't always work out, especially in a post-financial meltdown world. But choose a major based on your strengths, first and foremost. If you don't like something, chances are you're not going to be particularly good at it. And earning a living by doing a job you dislike does not bring happiness. Meaningful employment does. So major in something you're fond of and are good at. And attain the skills necessary to parlay that into work you like and can support yourself on. Double majoring or minoring or designing your own program of study are ways to accomplish this. Show up for class. Woody Allen once said, 80% of success is showing up, but Woody Allen didn't go to Converse. That won't cut it here. Show up 100% of the time, unless, of course, you have the flu. <laughs> Freshman year is stressful enough, and falling behind by skipping classes only adds to your anxiety. Remember that opportunity cost thing. Learn to fail forward. Society too often builds students up to believe that they will never fail as long as they try, that effort equals success. But that is not always the case. Is this a hint? <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> you generally learn more from your failures than from your successes. More often than not, when your plan does not go the way you want it to, it turns out to be the best plan in the end. Trust me. Get out of town, way out of town. Traveling increases your references, your truths, your capacity for understanding, and your ability to comprehend others. Making friends and meeting people from all over the world enriches your life, augments your emotional intelligence, and makes you see how important it is to turn mere tolerance into a deep, welcoming understanding and acceptance. Now, it may not rock your world that I learned how the economic system really works in St. Petersburg, Russia, by shopping at the local flea markets, that Prague in the 90s was the place to be if you were an entrepreneur, and that the police there all drove BMWs, that a popular pizza in Brazil was topped with tuna and ketchup, and a popular pizza in Saudi Arabia was Pizza Hut, and, 
And there were actually people making a living posing as statues near various fountains in Rome. The telling a Londoner the name of the stout South Carolina state dance usually got quite a reaction. <laughs> that seeing the Russian mafia was just like in the movies, only scarier. That the Converse students can hold their own in any political economic discussions with the locals, especially in Dublin. <laughs> that I will always have a change of underwear, a toothbrush, and an extra pair of jeans in my carry-on luggage because as sure as I don't, my luggage will be lost for days. <laughs> that traveling in Morocco during Ramadan left me and my students very hungry. <laughs> and that trying Iceland's famous specialty dish was a huge mistake. As no amount of black death that I drank as a chaser could taste that could hide the taste of rotted shark. <laughs> These things may not rock your world, but they rocked mine. So get out of Sparkle City and see what rocks you while the opportunity cost is low. And if you can't get out of the country or the state at some point while at Converse, at least get out of your room. <laughs> Other than to go to class, that is. Be in a play, do sports, play an instrument, dance, sing, join a service organization. When you come back to your room at night to find your friend's eyes glazed over from watching too many YouTube videos or reality TV, you'll be glad you accomplished something. Surround yourself with good people. These are the people who will make you laugh, console you when you cry, will call you on your BS, and will keep you sane in a world that seems to be slouching towards total madness. And speaking of slouching, stand up straight. Trust me, your back will thank you in 30 years. <laughs> Learn to give a good handshake. People often remember a firm handshake, but believe me, they'll always remember a dead fish one. Yuck. As much as you need to live in the present and not base future decisions on the past, please don't stop thinking about tomorrow. May of 2013 will soon be here. Start thinking about your post-converse goals early and often and tailor your course of study to meet them. Create a resume or a work portfolio and keep it current. You never know when you'll need it and opportunities arise when you least expect it. Be grateful you have the chance to get a good education. You may have to spend some money right now, but in the end, it is priceless. Not getting an education will be the most costly to you. Never forget there are women all over this world who would love to have the opportunities that are open to all of you right here, right now. There is no doubt that you're going to screw up and you're going to regret things and there'll be times when you fall into the mode of woulda, coulda, shoulda, oh, if I'd only studied harder, spent more time, if I'd only majored in economics, my life would be perfect. <laughs> if only. You can't, you won't, you didn't, whatever. The world only moves in one direction. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given you. You'll make good decisions and you'll make not so good decisions. You will experience the, what was I thinking moment for sure. But the point is, is that you'll make these decisions in spite of everything that the world throws at you. And the results will be wonderful, frustrating, disappointing, amazing, and will help you figure out who you are. So enjoy it all as much as you can. Do your best, study hard, have fun, and keep learning. Despite this whirlwind life of classes, <laughs> tests, projects, and performances, despite all of this constant change, Vienna waits for you. Not sure what I mean? Well, that particular Billy Joel song was number one on my playlist when I was in college, so go check it out. The lyrics are as applicable to you now as they were to me then. Maybe some things don't change after all. Thank you.